to subscribe! It can be dangerous to ignore playground safety rules. Let's learn about playground safety. Pick out clothes that are safe for the playground. You can stumble on long clothing. Hoodies can strangle you. Big and long necklaces can choke you. <laughs> wow! Your friends are all wearing safer clothes. Now let's play. Stand in line in front of the slide. <laughs> now let's slide down. <laughs> Move each friend so they don't bump into each other. safely enjoy the slide. The friends are on the swing. Spot the friend who is being dangerous. It's dangerous to be near a swing. It's dangerous to be near a swing. Make sure to sit properly and hang on tight with both hands. Make sure to sit properly and hang on tight with both hands. Make sure to sit properly and hang on tight with both hands. It's dangerous to be near a swing. Good job! The friends safely enjoy the swing. Ask to play with a friend on the seesaw. Can I ride the seesaw with you? Sure! Place Loopy on the seesaw. Now let's play on the seesaw. <laughs> Don't forget to tell your friend you're getting off. I'm getting off first. Okay. <laughs> Amazing job! The friends safely enjoy the seesaw. Wow! There are floating balloons. Jump on the trampoline to catch the balloons. <laughs> Got all the balloons. Great job! <laughs> the friends all had fun at the playground. Always remember, playground safety. The rabbits are spoiling Rupee's carrot farm. Punish the rabbits. Hit the rabbits with the squeaky hammer. Yellow green. Navy. Yellow. Sky blue. Pink. Yeah. 
red. Purple. A delicious cake in return. Hit the rabbits with the squeaky hammer. Yellow green. Red. Sky blue. Navy. Yellow. Made a delicious cake in return. Bororo and Krong are hungry. Bake the cookies with Rupee. When the cookies are baked well, press them. <laughs> Square. Yum, yum! This is delicious! <laughs> Circle. <laughs> Heart. Yum, yum! <laughs> yum this is yum. delicious! This is delicious! Triangle. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Star. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Triangle. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Square. Yum, yum! This is delicious! Star. Yum, yum! This is delicious! Yum, yum! 
circle. This is delicious. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Heart. Bororo and Krong are now full. Shall we try the cookies together? When the cookies are baked well, press them. Circle. Yum, yum. <laughs> this is delicious. Square. Yum, yum. This Triangle. is delicious. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Heart. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Star. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Triangle. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Star. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Heart. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Circle. Yum, yum. This is yum, delicious. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Square. Bororo and Krong are now full. Shall we try the cookies together? Oh no! The warehouse is way too dirty. Help find stuff for friends. Help find the stuff friends want. Calendar. Cell phone. Banana. Candle. Basketball. Doll. Bag. Cap. Basket. Book. Wow! Friends found all the stuff. All the friends want to say thanks to you. Help find the stuff friends want. Doll. Hair dryer.
basket. Basketball. Cap. Cup Cell phone Book Bag Wow! Friends found all the stuff. All the friends want to say thanks to you. On a warm sunny morning, Deary found a strange looking watch at the playground. Deary wore the watch on his wrist and pressed the button because he was curious. All of a sudden, a beam of light glowed out from the watch. When Deary opened his eyes after a while, everything was covered in snow, just like Snow White Winter. Right then, Pororo and Krong gently came over to say hi. Hello, welcome to the forest. Hello, I am Pororo. <coughs> For some reason, Deary really liked Pororo's pot belly. So, Deary gave him the candies that were in his pocket. Pororo was very pleased and wanted to introduce his other friends to him. Deary started following Pororo and Krong. I am Smarty Eddie. First, they went to Eddie's place. Eddie was a Mr. Know-it-all who knew everything, and Rhodey was super strong. <laughs> I am Rupee. I am Petty. At Rupee's place, Rupee made them a delicious strawberry cake. Petty taught them how to paint a beautiful picture. I am Poby. I am Harry. At the sea, Poby and Harry were fishing. <laughs> Harry sang a song as if she was excited. I know, it was sort of noisy. Tong Tong, who lives in a cave, showed transformation magic. Goody, goody, Tong Tong Tong, woo! On their way back, Doot Doo Car showed up and gave them a ride. <laughs> Doot Doo was very, very fast. <laughs> On that night, Deary slept at Bodoro's place. The bed was not big enough, but everyone had a good time. When Deary woke up on the next morning, Deary was back in his room. Was it all a dream? Then Deary 
saw the magic watch and the letter that was on the table. You are welcome to come back any time from your friend, Pororo. Pororo and his friends were having fun ice fishing. But Krong wanted to catch a bigger fish. Krong! No! Greedy Krong fell into the water. When Krong barely got out from water, he shivered. When Krong came back home, he started coughing like a person with cold. <laughs> he also had a really bad fever. <laughs> Friends were all worried about him. <laughs> At that moment, Tong Tong said he could cure Krong's cold. But Krong didn't get well. <laughs> <laughs> This time, Petty made him a vegetable curry, but his cold didn't get better. Krong, that tastes horrible! Eddie said his cold will get better if he does exercises. Krong, Krong! But Krong's cold got even worse. Friends didn't know what to do. Just then, Deary had a good idea. Deary pressed the button on the magic watch as hard as he can. Then, Deary came back home with a beaming flash. ran to the hospital right away and told the doctor about Krong's symptoms. But Krong's face was turning red every second. Pororo and his friends wondered if Deary would come back. Just then, there was a loud noise outside. When they opened the door, Deary showed up with the cold medicine. Krong took the cold medicine and fell into a deep sleep. When Krong woke up that evening, he no longer had fever and wasn't coughing anymore. Krong started dancing because he was so excited. Krong was happy to have Deary as his friend. Friends also shouted with joy. Thank you so much! Yum, yum. Something smells very good here. It looks like Rupee is baking bread for his friend. Huh? The bread that used to be on the table is gone. Where did my bread go? What happened? A little later, Bororo and his friends came over. Rupee was sad because he didn't have any bread to give. When Bororo heard the story, Don't worry, Rupee. I will help you find the bread thief. Toby's stomach is bulged out. Looks like he has bread in his stomach. He said something and everyone laughed. You know, 
Poby always had a big belly. At that moment, Eddie showed up with an empty bread basket on his hand. There was a basket lying on the ground on the way. Friends ran over to the place Eddie talked about. Just at the moment, Deary found the mysterious footprint. They followed the footprint into a forest, and there they saw an old house. When they opened the door and went in, a seal was eating the bread. You were the bread thief! The seal didn't know what to do. After a while, the seal apologized to them with all his heart. I am sorry. I was just too hungry. I promise I won't do it again. Rupee decided to forgive him just this time. A little later, on this way back, Deary had a good idea. Deary wanted to make some bread for the poor seal. Then friends started making bread all together. Next morning, the guests came over. <laughs> Deary and his friends gave Seal the bread they made yesterday. Thank you so much! The Seal now has delicious bread and many good friends. Deary is blowing bubbles with his friends. Whose bubbles are the biggest? Whoa! Deary bubbles are the biggest. Then Pororo spoke. Let's try flying on a soap bubble. When Pororo spoke, friends climbed up to the bubble. Then the wind blew, and it blew the bubbles far away. The bubbles flew over to a flower garden that had many pretty flowers. They also gave a ride to Petty, who was watering the flowers. Wow! That looks really fun! The bubbles flew over to a forest with a lot of delicious fruit. And then they gave a ride to Rupi, who was picking fruit. Wow! I like it! The bubbles flew over to the sea, yeah. where there were high storms. Splash! Then they yeah. gave a ride to Kobe, who was fishing. Thanks for the ride! <laughs> the bubbles flew over to a jungle with many strange animals. And they also gave a ride to Perry, who was bragging about her own singing. Where? The bubbles flew over to a snow mountain where it snowed very much. And they also gave a ride to Eddie, who was skiing. Uh huh. That sounds fun. All of a sudden, dark clouds moved in. There was lightning inside the dark clouds. The bubbles couldn't run away from the dark clouds because they were too heavy. In the end, the bubbles were drawn into the dark clouds. When the bubbles popped, friends fell to the ground. Whoa! But everyone safely landed on the springy land. What happened?
Aha! The springy land was Tong Tong. Yahoo! Tong Tong flew all the way here to save his friend. Yahoo! When friends came back home with Tong Tong's ride, they sighed deeply and talked to each other about how close it was. But soon after, they smiled and shouted together. So Bubble traveling, traveling is really, really the best! best.